Hi, my name is Cyprian Kiswili. I work with the Ender team and I uh, help in the design and development of shoes. Uh, so this month we are going to be making Lapatet shoes and uh, this is the first week for production of the shoes. And so I'm going to be taking you around the processes and the different stages of the shoe making process. So the first process um, is uh, stamping of the straw ball boards. Uh, and after that, the straw ball boards are taken to the stitching machine where the boards are stitched to the upper parts of the shoe. This has been one process that uh, we are actually uh, so proud of it because it's actually uh, the first time that we are doing straw ball stitching right here in Kenya. And uh, as far as we know, the straw ball stitching machine is, uh, that we have here at the factory is the only one that we are aware that exists here in Kenya. The second process after the stitching, the shoes uh, are taken to the last in point. And so this is where the uppers are joined together with the last. And so the last is a, a solid uh, plastic of some sort that uh, actually makes the uppers get into the right shape. This that you see here is the heel lasting machine. So this is the next process where after the shoes come through the tunnel. So this is where the shoes are pressed. The heel side of the shoe is pressed squarely to lie very well on the last. And so that's the next process, which is the heel lasting, which is actually done by the machine and not by hand as the first process of lasting is. So the shoes continue passing through the belt and uh, the next process uh, is the gauge marking. So basically what happens here, um, Tina right here with the gauge marking machine, uses a pen to make a mark just around the shoe where the uppers and the midsoles are actually uh, joined. And so this is a... Uh, an erasable uh, marker so you don't have to worry about having those marks later on in your pair because those are actually cleaned at the very, uh, the very later stages of the production of that. There are two uh, cementing processes and this is the first one where the, both the uppers and the midsoles are applied adhesive evenly. So this is done in a way that um, when later on you have your shoe on, it's not going to be detaching at some point. So this is going to be not so much adhesive uh, on the uppers or not so less. So this is done evenly on both the uppers and theirs. So after that process, both the parts go through the tunnel for the adhesive to be cured. And after that, now it goes straight to the attachment of the parts. So the sole attachment process is actually quite key because uh, that determines how the shoe is going to be uh, attached and how it's going to look uh, once everything is done because it's one of the final processes of the shoe production. After the sole is attached, it goes through um, a cooler that uh, cools the shoe because the shoe had been through uh, the heat tunnel and so at that moment it's actually like uh, quite heat so it goes through the cooler so uh, now after all the processes now the shoe comes down to the cleaning of any marks that had been uh, made during the wool process so that is cleaned up so that you can get the cleanest and the nicest set of shoes and so um, we're so proud of the work that we are doing here and we can't wait to get all the shoes done so that you can be running soon in the Lapatets.